Hello everyone, this is Mirzai from Cal Poly Pomona and in this lesson we are going to cover definition of Z of alpha in the context of statistics. By definition, Z of alpha is the value of Z after which the area under the standard normal distribution is alpha. So let's look at this uh, with an example. This definition says Z of alpha is the value in this axis, which is the Z axis, so that the area after that z is equal to alpha. So that's the definition. If the area after z of alpha is alpha, then the area before that is 1 minus alpha because according to the rule of probability, the total area under probability curve is equal to 100%. So if you have alpha for the area of after z of alpha, you're going to have 1 minus alpha prior to that. And why this is important? Because your uh, standard normal table doesn't give you the area after a point. It always gives you the area before some z value. So you want to know what is the area before the z of alpha so that you can find the value of z of alpha using your table. So, for example, suppose that we want to find z of point 0.25. That means the area before a z of 0.25 is 0.75. And I have to find that area in the table. So this is the figure that can help us to understand this better. So if this is z of 0.25, the area before that is 0.75. That means in the standard normal table, I have to find the z associated to 0.75. Remember, your standard normal table gives you area inside, in this area and then it gives you the value in here. So now at this time, I'm not looking for probability. I already have the probability. It means that I have some value in this area, and I want to find a Z associated to that. So if I find 0.75, it's something between these two numbers, which is 0.67 and 0.68, and we can get the average of the two number and find the value of Z of 0.25. So then uh, the average of this to the 0 0.67 and 0 0.68 is 0 0.675. You can actually find the exact interpolation of the value between these two numbers, but in this case, I just simply average the two numbers, and that is good enough for us as an approximation of z of 0.25. Let's look at another example. Uh, suppose that this time we want to find the z of 0 0.05. That means the area before z of 0 0.05 is 0 0.95, and I have to find 0 0.95 inside my table because that's where the probabilities are given. So if I find 0 0.95, again, it falls between these two numbers, which are 1.64 and 1.65. I take the average of the two, and I have 1.645 as the value of z of 0.05. The next example is z of 0 0.025, and 0 0.025 complement is going to be 0 0.975, so inside the table I have to look for 0 0.975, and that is exactly related to 1.96. So you don't need to interpolate or get the average of two numbers. In this case, you have the exact number, which is 1.96. This means that at point 1.96, the area under the standard normal curve on the right-hand side is 0 0.025, and before that is 0 0.975. So as a general rule, every time that you want to calculate Z of alpha, find the value of 1 minus alpha inside your table, and report the value of Z associated to that 1 minus alpha as your Z of alpha. Also, it's a good practice to memorize this value as they are two of the most commonly used value of Z of alpha in the context of statistics. Thank you for watching.